Hey guys, what's going on? This is Andrew here today, and we're going to be making a video showing off some of the games I got from GameStop. So normally I make a video whenever I get a big haul of games, but I haven't been getting games in hauls lately. I've really just been getting one game, maybe two games at most at a time. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is just showing what I got from the beginning of September all the way to this video. So this is going to be covering GameStop. As I just said, I'm going to have another video where I'm going to be focusing on Mercari and I got a ton of games from Mercari in a lot. So that video will be probably soon. So the first game that we're going to be taking a look at is Judgment. So I really liked Yakuza Like a Dragon. I haven't played it all the way through yet, but I've been loving it like crazy. Basically, uh, this is like a side game of Yakuza Like a Dragon where it's kind of like a side story with a similar style to Yakuza, except now this is like a beat em up version of the game because Yakuza used to be beat em up, but then it kind of switched to RPG kind of elements and this is where they pushed all the beat, beat em up elements onto. I like beat em up games. I think they're a lot of fun and considering I like the Yakuza Like a Dragon story or I'm loving it a lot so far, I figured I'd give this game a shot. I got this one recommended to me by a co-worker at GameStop. So I want to thank them for uh, giving me the recommendation. I'm definitely going to be trying this game as soon as I beat Yakuza Like a Dragon. All right, guys, the next game that I got was GTA 5 Premium Edition for the Xbox One. So if you guys have known me for the past seven years, I used to be really obsessed with GTA 5. I played through the campaign around 20 times. I started on the 360 version. My brother then got a PS4 with the game, so I played through it on his console. Uh, eventually, the PC version came out, and I played through it on there. I then got my own copy for the Xbox One when I got my Xbox One to play with my friends. Somewhere down the line, I got a PS4 uh, for myself and a copy of GTA, and then I got the PS3 version of GTA 5 as well. So I've played through the campaign on all the platforms. Uh, I just have played this game way too much. So, why did I get it again? Well, uh, my brother sold his PS4, uh, got an Xbox One, so that meant that we only had one copy uh, for the two of us. At some point, he lost the game. I couldn't find it, so um, and he couldn't find it, so I actually ended up getting the game from GameStop since I have my discount through them. Uh, I got it. I got the premium edition so I can have the shark card because I haven't played GTA in years at least gta online for that matter so i needed some catching up to do so i figured i'd get a million dollars on the shark card because that's what the premium edition comes with so i'll get a nice start to the game once again once i start playing it again so yeah happy to have the game in my collection once again i'm hopefully going to be playing this game with friends soon the third game that i got is probably one of my favorite games of this year if not my favorite game of this year so far, and that is Aliens Fireteam Elite. I am so happy that they released this game at $40 because releasing it that cheap will make a lot of people jump on board, and this game really is a very well-made game. It's a third-person shooter. I played Alien Trilogy back on the Sega Saturn, and... I like the third person shooter aspect of this a lot better. It's a multiplayer game. It doesn't have a single player campaign or anything like that, but it is a lot of fun to play with friends. And you can also play by yourself if you choose to, but it's technically an all online game in that aspect. So you have to make sure that you have a decent internet connection because that's really what this is going to rely on. So very into the game. I honestly... Probably am going to call this my favorite game of the year if another game doesn't take that spot This would probably be right above Ratchet and Clank for me, which is insane for a multiplayer game I am having a lot of fun with this so far can't wait to play it more All right guys, so the last game that I got was Sonic Colors Ultimate for the Xbox one So I never played this game on the Wii, but I did try it on an emulator using an Xbox controller That was a little weird doing it that way. So I'm very happy that they actually released a Sonic Colors as a remaster on Xbox One so I can play it properly with an Xbox controller. Really happy that they made this game multi-plat because this was really one of the better uh, 3D Sonic games. Unfortunately, a lot of the other ones weren't so great, but this one was an absolute blast. The graphics on this are a huge step up from the Wii version. It looks insane on a 4K TV. Just playing it on my Series X, I loved the visual aspect of it. So, it also was a lot of fun. I love the 3D and 2D mix of gameplay styles in here. I will say the game is very easy, but honestly, it's just one of those games that I can play where I don't have to worry about focusing on 
you know, how hard the game is and having to really focus in, I can just relax and play the game. And it really is one of those fun type of games. So I'm happy I got my copy of it on the Xbox. Um, don't know if I'll get the Switch version to replay it. I probably will replay it again, but I'm going to wait to decide whether I get it on the Switch. But I have to say, this is also one of my favorite games of the year. So that means that I have two games that are $40 that are my favorite games of this year. So that's pretty funny. I will say this one was actually uh, probably below Ratchet and Clank on my favorite games of this year list, but have to say uh, this was a lot of fun, enough to be in my top three. All right, guys, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really feel like I got a lot of quality today. So as you see, everything that I got was Xbox related, and that's just because I've been playing a lot of Xbox lately. My PS5 isn't really getting a lot of attention at the moment, and that's just because a lot of exclusive games aren't coming to it, and my main platform for Multiplats is on the Series X due to most games running better on it and looking better. So, uh, that's not to say I don't like the PS5. I love the PS5. I can't wait to get another game for the system. I saw the conference with all the games they announced. It's going to be an incredible generation. I'm very excited to play uh, the new Wolverine and Spider-Man 2 game when those come out. Hopefully, I'll have time to play them because I think I'll uh, hopefully at that point, I'll be a game developer, but hopefully, I'll also have some time to play them. So yeah, guys, uh, that's everything. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one.